They do have one humdinger of a hobby here, operating Scotland's oldest working church bells. The bell ringers of this Edinburgh church are having their regular rehearsal. I hope the neighbours don't mind. We may have had some complaints in the past, but we have very good sound control here now, so that's always closed on a Monday night. So I like to think that people enjoy actually walking down the street and hearing the sound of bells. But we're always looking for new recruits, especially for the uh, coronation, which is upcoming next May. Sounds like a new story, this, and here are your headlines. <clears throat> there are around 38,000 bells in the British Isles, but they're short of around 8,000 people to help ring them. And so a ring for the King Royal Recruitment Drive is trying to find volunteers to help the bells bong on Coronation Day in May. Ada's one of those training here. And why did you want to get involved and do this? So I got roped into it. Roped into it, <laughs> oh, see what no, you did no, there? Did. Oh yes. <laughs> Um, I got roped into it through a friend. It's like, oh my God, no way, is that a real thing? Because I always thought you had to be a trained professional. Um, but you know, as you can see, not all of us are like quasi-modo. Hoping to be more quasi-decent, I've got to give it a go, right? I need to look up. There's nothing Sorry, to don't look up, okay. <laughs> So we're up very high here, but this is very impressive, isn't it? It is really, really impressive. I think it surprises people when, we, when people come up here for the first time. Alex is 18 and two years into ringing. What will it take to be crowned the best new bell ringer? It's actually not as hard as people think. I think there's a stereotype that people have of bell ringers that they need to be big and strong, and I'm definitely, <laughs> I'm, I'm neither. How important is it that more people get involved? I think it's absolutely vital because it, it is, it has been described in some, on some occasions as a bit of a dying art. But the art of bell ringing, or campanology to give it its proper name, is very much alive here. Does doing it for the king chime with you? Alan Jenkins, 5 News, Edinburgh.